Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on envelope one parameter. The envelope of a family of curves is a curve that is tangent to each member of the family at some point. In the other words, we can say it represents the boundary or envelope formed by the family of curves, touching each curve at least once but not intersecting it. We can see the mathematical definition. The equation of family of curves is in terms of x, y and alpha. It need not to be alpha. Sometimes they will mention alpha, m, gamma, w, theta so that it can be in any notation. For a given family of curves, it can be described as a equation capital F of x, y, alpha. Alpha is the parameter. The envelope of family of curves, the envelope of family of curves can be found by solving this system of equations with the condition that I can differentiate the equation with respect to alpha partially. Now, solving this two equations simultaneously, we can found the envelope for the given curve. The envelope is the locus of the points where tangents of family of curves coincide. Okay, let us go into the problem. So, we have two techniques to find the envelope. For a given problem f of x, y, alpha equal to 0, if you can able to represent the given equation as quadratic in terms of alpha, if it is given in m, you have to represent in terms of m. If this is possible, I don't want to do the derivative. Just the formula for envelope is simply b square minus 4ac equal to 0. If it is not quadratic, then we have to follow this method. Let us go into the problem. Find the envelope of y equal to mx plus am square. Now, I, now we can see here m is the parameter. Now, we have to rearrange the equation in terms of m. So, am square plus xm minus y equal to 0. So, it is a quadratic equation in terms of m. Therefore, it looks like am square capital BM plus c equal to 0. Now, values of A is small a, capital B is x and capital C is minus y. Therefore, our condition for envelope is capital B square minus 4ac equal to 0. Substituting this three values, I will be getting x square minus 4 into a into minus y, that is x square plus 4ay equal to 0. So, x square equal to minus 4ay. So, x square is equal to minus 4ay. This is the parabola up and down is going to be the envelope for the given problem y equal to mx plus am square. That's it, student. Now, let us go into the next problem. First, the problem looks like it is not quadratic. Then we have a other method. So, it is the problem in terms of f of x, y, m equal to 0. Differentiating f partially with respect to m, we get dou f by dou m equal to 0. Solving these two equations, we get the solution. But, you should be very cautious. See this equation, it is not quadratic. But, some equations, when you simplify, it may become quadratic equation. When I take LCM, it becomes m square x plus 1 by m. Now, m y equal to m square x plus 1. So, m square x minus m y plus 1 equal to 0. Now, it is a quadratic equation. So, I don't want to differentiate it. Just I can rewrite this and I can find my capital A, B and C. Now, applying the condition capital B square equal to minus 4ac equal to 0, minus y whole square minus 4 into x into 1 equal to 0. So, y square equal to 4x is my envelope. Therefore, y equal to mx plus 1 by m as the envelope y square equal to 4x. That is open at the right. Next problem also, it does not look like quadratic, but we can try to make it as quadratic. If possible, we can use that formula. If it is not possible, we have to go for the differentiation partially with respect to the parameter. Here, m is the parameter, a and b are constants. Okay, so it should be mentioned in the question. So now rewriting this, y minus mx is equal to plus or minus a square m square plus b square. When you square on both sides, 
will be getting a square m square plus b square. Simplifying this, y square plus m square x square minus 2m xy is equal to a square m square plus b square. Now, now rearranging the terms, we have m square here and here. So, x square minus a square into m square minus 2yx into m plus y square minus b square equal to 0. From this, I can easily found my coefficients of a, b and c because the equation is capital A m square B m plus c equal to 0. Now, substituting this in the formulae for the condition of envelope, we will be getting minus 2 y x whole square minus 4 into x square minus a square into y square minus b square equal to 0. So, 4 y square x square, I am taking this to the other side, 4 into x square minus a square, y square minus b square. Now, 4, 4 get cancelled. When I simplify my right hand side, I will be getting x square y square minus x square b square minus a square y square plus a square b square. Now, now x square y square and x square y square get cancelled, bringing these two terms to the LHS, x square b square plus a square y square is equal to a square b square. You can see the version here. Now, you see a square b square is in the right hand side a square term and b square term in the left hand side. Now, dividing by a square b square, we will be getting x square by a square plus y square by b square equal to 1. Therefore, for the given problem, ellipse is going to be the envelope. Next problem, exactly same as the previous problem, the only change is we have mx plus or minus a square m square plus b square is in the previous problem. Here a and b are becoming 1. So, it is going to be very easy. So, I am not going to solve the problem. I am just going to show you the step one by one. Rewriting this and simplifying will be getting this. So, now m square is there in two places. So, I am clubbing m square and making the equation in terms of a m square b m plus c equal to 0. Now, capital A is this, capital B is minus 2 y x, capital C is y square minus 1. And very important student, in all the three problems, I am getting m as parameter. It need not to be always m. It can be alpha, theta, gamma, beta, anything. Now, the condition for envelope is b square minus 4ac equal to 0. Substituting this, minus 2yx whole square minus 4 into x square minus 1 into y square minus 1 equal to 0. Now, simplifying this, x square y square x square y square get cancelled. So, x square plus y square equal to 1, which is nothing but a circle. So, circle is going to be the envelope for this problem. And one important note students, the same problem can be asked y equal to mx plus or minus m square minus 1. When you get m square minus 1, you will be getting the answer x square minus y square equal to 1. So, I just left this for your practice. Similarly, if you take this problem y equal to mx plus or minus a square m square, if you get minus b square, then your envelope is going to be x square by a square minus y square by b square equal to 1, which is nothing but my hyperbola. So, I also left this problem for your practice students. Now, I have a question for you. For all the family of curves, can we find an envelope? It is not true. There are some family of curves where you cannot get envelope. Let us see a simple example which might be helpful for your MCQs. Show that the straight line 2y minus 4x plus lambda equal to 0 has no envelope. So, this is of the form f of x comma y comma lambda equal to 0. This is not a quadratic equation. So, I am going to differentiate this partially with respect to lambda. Then first term is 0 minus second term is 0. Then differentiation of lambda with respect to lambda is 1. The right hand side I have 0. I will be getting 1 equal to 0 which is an absurd. This is not possible. So, therefore, the derivative is incorrect. The family of straight line does not have an envelope. This is the MCQs. The family of straight line does not have envelope. So, with this, we conclude this session. In the next session, we are going to continue the problems on envelope with one parameter where I cannot write my given question in the form am square plus bm plus c. We are going to see the 
problems in the next session thanks for watching subscribe to our channel and share to your friends see you in the next video bye bye